hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be teaching you the three method of making slits on a mermaid skirt and the exact method they use on this dress that is showing on the screen right now and also in this video i'll be teaching you how to add crinoline and emming gum to the edge of this skirt so without wasting much time let's get started welcome guys so this is the crinoline and the emming gum i'll be using to explain and the pattern paper you are seeing down here is the pattern will draft for the mummy skirt if you have been following my channel for a while you will notice i have a video on how to draft a full mummy skirt with a tail that is something exactly on the screen like the thumbnail of this video yeah so i have a video that will direct on how to go about that so i won't be doing that in this video but i'll just be drafting a mermaid skirt the mermaid skirt so that i can use this to explain the slate so we start by measuring the half length you start from your half length down to your to your short gown length so the point i mark there is my short gown length and i'll just be using this full length of this pattern paper so let's just assume the hand is the hand of the skirt so now you mark your hip length then you just rule a line across those points you've marked so this point i'm marking currently is my hip length and this one is my short gown length so as you can see that the, my tape did not start exactly from the beginning so i'm starting from my half length at that upper part so here at my short gown length i'll just go up by four inches so i went up by four inches at this part then i'll be ruling a line so it is this four inch line that i'll be using i'll not be using this new length measurement well, i just need to measure it so that it can direct me so now at my waist area which is this part i'll measure my waist measurement divided by four then i'll be adding my that allowance and also my sewing allowance so at this area too i'll be measuring my hip measurement divided by four and i'll be adding only my sewing allowance so the same hip measurement that i measured there with my sewing allowance i'll transfer it to the both lines yeah so this is how i like to do mine i first connect like a straight skirt first before i now make the shaping so yeah i'm just trying to connect these lines together like this so the next thing i'll be doing is from this hip length i'll go down by four and a half inches yeah so from there i will shape it down to this part here that is that part above our new length and I, I just measured one inch away at this part you can do more if you want yours to be very fitted you can go in by one and a half or even two inches so then you shape it like this so this is what we will have then from that point there you can draw your slant line downward in my previous video someone asked me how to determine the end of this skirt i'll just advise you you use your hip measurement times two that is whatever you have at this hip area you measure it then you use times two of it at this lower part but if you have more fabric than that or the style require it to be very to be very wide at the lower part like the picture of our thumbnail you can do more than this depending on how how much yard of fabric you have but if you are managing your fabric you can just do times two so now you go ahead to mark your dart that is my personal measurement divided by two plus half inch so i just mark it at this area then the length of the dart is five inches then i'll just be taking it like this half half just like that so this is what we have and we are done with the pattern drafting like i said earlier i have a more detailed tutorial on this i, I even use a fabric instead in that video so if you want to see that video it will be in the description box and in the comment section so this is the main this is the main pattern like i said earlier the next thing we'll be doing now is to start with the slit but before the slit i want to transfer this that to the other side because this pattern is on fold so i'm just using my pattern tracer to just transfer this to this other side so then i'm using my marker to draw out the dart because we'll be needing the dart 
so for this first method of the slit making depending on where you want your slit to be if you notice some people put their slit at the right hand side some at the left so depending on how you want it from our thumbnail you notice the slit is by the left yeah the slit is by the left of the dress so now on this pattern you just measure four inch from the midpoint there that midpoint is also the dart length you measured earlier if you notice so as you can see from the edge of this dart i'm just measuring downward so you measure the four inches downward like this depending on how long your mammoth skirt is that is what you will do so if your nipple to nipple measurement is more than this so it's what you have at that that area that you transfer down so now depending on how low you want your slit to be some people do go up even above the four inches we took out from the nail length measurement some people do go above that but some people don't even want it to get to that point they just use the nail length measurement so for this i'll be using this four inch above the nail length that we use earlier and i'll just be taking half inch on both sides then i'll be connecting it like this just like a curve because we don't want a sharp edge because we need to turn this part so we don't need a sharp edge and at this area you take out one and a half inch one one and a half inch at both sides so because this curve ruler is not long so what are we doing is to take one one inch at this area if you notice i took half up at the middle i took one and at the edge i took one and a half so just to make it slant and make it balanced so this is what i have so this is what it will look like this case right here must be curvy if it is not curvy it will not turn like very well even when you are about to turn you have to notch it so that it can turn out well so this is what we've done and the next thing we'll be doing is to cut it out so after cutting it out we'll be trying the second method just like we did for the first method we'll be marking four inch here also so i'm using a red marker so that i can differentiate it so four inches downward like that then you also connect so i'm transferring this line at that part to this part also so for this one you just cut this out you cut the you divide this pattern paper into two like one side will be the small parts and the other side will be from here to the other side note that when you are using this method you don't need to do this other that method this other slit method rather because you know i'm just using one pattern paper that is why that one is showing on it so we don't need to cut this part just ignore this part and focus on this other side so now we'll cut out this part out so after we just cut it out like this so you remove the dart we don't need it so now from this as you can see we've divided our skirt pattern into two as i said just ignore this other the first slit we made so this is what we have and the next thing we'll be doing is when you want to cut this on your fabric you had your sewing allowance at the edge that is your desired sewing allowance you had it at the edge then when you are sewing you stop at this part you stop at this part then this part will be open i don't know if you get so this part will be opened then you you fold it in or you fold it in so but you sew like from the top of the skirt to that to where you want your slit to get to so this is the third method and this third method is like the combination of the first and the second method so like like we've done for the second method we've divided this part so you will be using the first method you first draft your first um the second method rather then we will do the same way we did for the first method on the second method that is how we measured half inch one inch and one and a half here just to draw a curve that will be cut out You know for the first method i didn't use my french curve to connect so i'm just trying to use my french curve here so i'm trying to show you how you can use your french curve just to connect something like this then the remaining parts 
you just roll it downward. If you notice, if you use the second method, your slit will not be opened up. This is for people that want slit but they don't want it to show. So if you use that second method, there will be slit on your skirt but it won't be showing, it won't be obvious. But for the first method, it will be obvious because we are cutting it out and for the third method, it will be obvious. So from the thumbnail I use for this video, the slit opening they use is this third method. If you check well, you will see that there is a joining from the waist to the slit part and there is an opening at that slit area, like the slit is very opened. So now the next thing we'll do is just to cut out this and this is what it will look like. So after you are done, you just go ahead and cut each fabric, then you add sewing allowance at this part here, this part upward, that's where you add your sewing allowance. So now the last thing I want to explain to you is how to fix your crinoline line to the edge of your skirt. So let's just assume this is the material we are using. So you place your crinoline line on the right side of the fabric like this. Then you add your hemming gum on the crinoline. line. Then the crinoline line will be on the right side of the fabric. Then you turn. After sewing, you flip it over, then you sew again. I don't know if you understand. You place your crinoline line on the right side of the fabric. You place your hemming gum on the crinoline. line. Then you sew it just half inch. Half inch is enough. Then you flip it over. So this crinoline line you are seeing is just one inch crinoline. line. You can use a bigger crinoline. line. But thank you so much for watching. If you don't understand any part of this video, please drop a comment and I will reply you. And if you not commented, please comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.